Let's talk about galvanic isolation. We want to send data without any current. So we're going to optically couple the serial communications between Arduinos. Now in order to do that, we need some code. So for our receiver, we're going to, use, we're going to go to the Arduino IDE. We're going to go to Examples, Communication, Physical Pixel, and then we're going to set the baud to 300. Serial begin at 300. And we're going to download that into our uh, receiving unit. For our sending unit, all we're going to do is we're going to, in the void setup, we're going to go serial begin at 300 again. And then void loop, we're going to serial print H, wait a second, and then serial print L, wait another second, and start all over again. Down in the receiver, it's, it's going to look for an H on the uh, serial bus. When it sees an H, it's going to take pin 13 high. And if it sees an L, it's going to take pin 13 low. We're just going to blink the uh, LED on pin 13 on and off. So right now I just have uh, two Arduinos connected. I have, uh, this is my sending unit. I have uh, the uh, TX pin connected to the RX pin over here. And then the grounds are connected. But you can see that this is working. And I have uh, pin 13, is, uh, this is over here, it's flashing on and off. The reason this is working is not even powered up is that your TX line has got 5 volts on it and the signals on top of that. Uh, that RX pin over here, even the TX pin, they're connected to the uh, serial to USB IC. Uh, it's usually an FT232 or a CH340. Uh, the clones use this uh, CH340. It's a chip on the back of these uh, nanos here. Now. It's, it's directly connected to that chip, and that chip is powered through the USB port over here. So you can power the unit through the USB through that chip. So we're just running it in the opposite direction there. And it's enough to, uh, to run this other unit over here. We got our power light on here. Uh, of course, these pins are only good for 40 milliamps, so uh, you couldn't put much load on here. But it's working. But it just shows that we're running power back through the system from this side. And we don't want to do that. We want to have this thing isolated. So I'm going to take rid of, get rid of that. Over here, we're going to uh, we're going to take a uh, optocoupler. This happens to be an LTV uh, 814H. Um, I'm using that one. It has a, a dual uh, LEDs down here, so the polarity doesn't matter on this. Which way, every way you want to put it. Um, it's not that high of speed, but we're only running 300 baud. So if you do want to run higher speed, you can use a FOB819. It's a high-speed optocoupler. Uh, you, you know, can look at the specs of different ones to see how, how fast you can go. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take our uh, TX line. We're going to tie it to one side of these uh, diodes here through a 1K resistor, and then the other side to ground. And then over here, we take our 5 volts. And we go to uh, pin 4 on the optocoupler, and off of pin 3, we come back to our RX here. Now, we need uh, some resistance in here to ground to pull this low here. Uh, you know, I found that the 1K is uh, is too much, and, uh, you know, normally you go with like a 10K to, to ground, but that, that, that won't work either. This uh, 370 ohm seems to work fine. So we're going to hook that up and... Uh, See if it actually works here. I have this unit. It's it's powered up. Now, it doesn't really matter which way I put these because uh, that chip uh, you can you can power it either direction. So you can see here that uh, it's working and it's isolated here. So these two units are isolated, and uh, we're working off of this other this other voltage here. So that's working good. Now, one other side note here is that a lot of times on these diagrams you'll see uh, VCC, VDD, or VEE, and VSS. Uh, we use those for historic reasons only. And it started with the MPN transistor, and the positive voltage, uh, supply voltage to the resistor was a VCC, and C was for collector, and the negative supply was VEE, or E was for emitter. And when FETs came along, we had the positive supply voltage was VDD, D was for the drain, and the negative was VSS for, for source. So on mine I try to just use the, the voltage and, and the ground. Uh, these can get a little bit confusing, but uh, 
VCC and VD here are usually positive, and VEE and VSS will will be negative. But that's that's where they came from. Anyway, uh, thank you.